Guys, why didn't you tell me making hoppers is so difficult? <laughs> There's a lot of holes in it. I think I'm gonna have to give up. It is so difficult. That is the saddest looking hopper I've ever seen in my life. In today's video, I'm actually going to try and make some Sri Lankan egg hoppers. I've actually ordered a hopper pan all the way from Sri Lanka. I ordered it online. So the hopper pan arrived last week. It took a few days to get all of the ingredients together, such as the dried yeast um, and the rice flour, which was difficult enough to find in Irish supermarkets. But I've got all the ingredients now and I've heard they can be a little bit tricky to make these hoppers and to get like the consistency of the batter um, correct and right but I'm gonna try to do it anyway and we're gonna see how it goes. So let's start making some Sri Lankan hoppers. grams of rice flour, a pinch of sugar, add the coconut water and milk whisking continuously to void lumps, then add the yeast mixture and mix until you have a smooth batter, cover with cling film and leave to ferment for two hours. Wow! Sugar. Okay, so this bowl wasn't big enough. <laughs> I'm going to use this one instead. 300 milliliters. How much is this? 400. So we need about half of one of these. Should do it. And 300 milliliters of water. So water. I have this whisk. I don't know if it's going to be good enough, but we'll see. Okay, so this is the yeast mixture. I might give it a little stir. Pour it in. Okay, so I'm just gonna whisk in the yeast mixture. And once it's all together and it's nice and smooth, then I'm going to Cover with cling film and let it set for two hours. Okay, so I've got my cling film. Just gonna tightly wrap it around. Okay, so now I'm gonna leave that. Whoa, <laughs> I'm gonna leave that for two hours to set to ferment. Okay, guys, I've got my hopper pan that I ordered online. Apparently, it came from Sri Lanka, but who knows? <laughs> It's like a small little hopper pan. So I've just heated it up on the hot stove and I'm putting it on a lower heat. This is sort of a, a trial run. I think I put a bit too much batter in, but let's see. Okay, so it says to cover it. Leave it on low heat for two to three minutes. I've got this super, super thin, what would you even call this? I don't know, mama, what would you call this? Spatula. Spatula, I've got this super, super thin spatula. It's so thin. Ooh, I'm nervous, I don't know if it's gonna work or not. <laughs> It's a non-stick pin, so I didn't use any oil. Okay, so at first glance, they don't seem very crispy on the outside. Um, when I have hoppers in Sri Lanka, they're really nice and crispy on the outside. And from the look of this, it's just not getting crispy. It's just sort of soft and mushy. So I'm thinking maybe I didn't leave the batter to ferment for long enough. So this one was just a trial run. 
I just did one. So I might leave the rest of the batter another few hours to ferment more. I don't know if that will help, but I'll show you guys. This is what it looks like. Oh, see, look, it's all gooey. It's not crispy. Maybe I'll just leave it for another minute. Okay, I'm not sure. Maybe I just poured in too much because the bottom is really thick. But like I said, the sides are absolutely not crispy at all. I don't know what I did wrong. See, it's not very crispy. It's too thick, right? It's too thick. Okay, so I'm not quite sure what I did wrong. Either it wasn't hot enough, or I think that the batter that I put in was too thick. So I'm gonna try put in less batter and to start with, cook it on the really hot um, stove and then move it on to the cooler one. To that. Happen. Looks horrible. That is the saddest looking hopper I've ever seen in my life. Okay guys, it's been about two hours longer, so I've let the batter ferment for another two hours. It's looking a little bit thicker now, which I think is good. So I'm gonna try and make the hopper again. Like I said, I failed twice already. The first two were definite failures. I'm hoping this one works, so let's see. I don't think I put enough batter in this one. There's like nothing at the bottom, but it's around the sides. So I feel like this is a real like it's like maybe making pancakes for the first time. You have to just trial and error, trial and error. Why didn't you guys tell me making hoppers is so difficult? <laughs> We're looking better now. What do you guys think? Okay, we're trying again. Let's do this. I'm gonna put the lid on. Right, so this is the first hopper that looks somewhat normal. There's a lot of holes in it though. And it doesn't have like the kind of thicker base at the bottom and then the crispier edges. I'm gonna taste it a little bit. Mmm, actually tastes pretty good. It tastes pretty similar to the ones I've had. It could be a bit crispier on the edges. Trial and error. Okay, attempt number four. Oh, I don't know if that batter is cooked. It's a little bit crispy on the outside, which is good. It seems like it might be a bit too thick at the bottom. Oh, it's so hard to get it right. Right. <laughs> that looks pretty good. Guys, why does the egg take so long to cook? This was the first egg one. Not too bad. 
So guys, this is, this is the finished product. My first time making hoppers. So I made one plain one. My mom doesn't eat eggs. And uh, two egg hoppers. Guys, I was doing such a good job with my uh, Sri Lankan cooking escapades. And now I just, I just am failing so hard at these hoppers. Um, I've made a few now and each one of them is uh, <laughs> worse than the last. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. I've let the batter uh, ferment for like an extra nine hours. Um, so maybe that's even too long. It's much thicker now, so I just had to stir it a little bit. And right here behind me, I'm making a hopper for breakfast. So last night we had them for dinner and now I'm hoping this one will be better and I can eat it for breakfast. It's just the batter. batter. It's the egg. Oh, it's looking good. Okay, so I have decided that probably one of the reasons that the hoppers aren't really crispy around the edges and aren't cooking the same way that they cook in Sri Lanka is because I'm not using a gas cooker. We don't have a gas cooker. We just have this stove that is sort of like permanently on. It's like a cooker that warms up our whole kitchen and our whole house. So it's always hot, it's always on. You can always cook without turning anything on. It is pretty hot, but it's definitely not as hot as gas. So, and it doesn't, the gas, the fire kind of goes up the side of the hopper's pan. Whereas this, it's just hot at the bottom. So I do think that is causing the side of the hoppers not to be as crispy. Ooh, it's looking good. Not very crispy. I am excited to try this, guys. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> mm. It's tasty, but it's not very crispy on the edges. 